Hey guys, it's uh, Aaron Bittler and uh, Bud Townsend from uh, Crutch Logistics, and we just wanted to give you a quick update to uh, our Android uh, at Home project, which actually it's not an Android at Home project, so sorry for all the confusion. It is actually Natural User System, NUS, Natural User System, is actually what we call this project. Um, so there's a little, been a little bit of confusion there, um, and we've actually got asked by uh, uh, Joe Britt from Google, Brett, the director of the Android in Home system, creator of the T-Mobile Sidekick, sent us an email politely asking us to change our blog's name. So uh, we are actually going to change that over. We completely respect that um, over to naturalusersystem.blogspot.com. Um, so you know that change is going to come in the next couple of days. We just want to get let people get used to it. Um, so we want to thank Joe for his uh, his email, and we also asked him to come on to uh, Skype and do a little uh, interview presentation uh, talk with the uh, Virginia Tech Entrepreneurship Club, or we call it just the E Club or VTE Club. So uh, hopefully, Joe, you'll you'll take out my invitation and, and you'll come. Uh, just this last week, it got mentioned on Hack a Day, their uh, home automation section. That's pretty exciting. Our video has been getting tons of views. In fact, I've had people recognize me uh, in these videos. It's how big our project has gotten. Remember, this is a one and a half prototype. Yeah, so uh, we definitely want to thank Hackaday uh, for publishing that uh, story and also to everyone else who's showed interest in this project. We're really uh, passionate about um, our natural user system um, and seeing it succeed. Uh, quickly, we're going to go over um, prototype two. Um, or 1.2 we like to call it um, and basically what you saw in prototype 1 was just a concept and it was just just to get things off the ground kind of started kind of explain to people what what we're doing um, but uh, but tell us a little bit about program uh, prototype 2 right so prototype 2 we're taking the project and we're completely redoing it from the ground up uh, we're integrating a new voice recognition system for high speed uh, recognition of commands we're introducing some really new technologies that haven't been seen yet, including some noise cancellation, autocorrelation systems with a microphone and speakers, so we don't have false triggering problems. We're integrating some artificial intelligence, hopefully into the new platform. More information about that, but that's a really groundbreaking technology. Um, we're sticking with our conventional networking system, uh, using standard networking um, protocols instead of coming up with our own uh, to keep up with uh, the community. We're really trying to make this a community project. Um, part of the system hopefully is going to be open source and open to developers and hardware developers um, so y'all can just come in and make cool shit for our uh, projects. Um, so yeah, so Prototype 2, um, as you can hear Bud talking about, is, is, is going to be kind of kick ass. Um, what we're hoping to do is um, we kind of want to interact with some more devices uh, like your TV, change the channel, uh, maybe even hook up with a DVR, um, and then uh, we would also like to see the uh, Connect, the Xbox Connect integrated. And we don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do it for Prototype Two, but we'd like to have uh, like a recognition system where you can tell um, individuals apart. Right, we have a new speech technology we're developing. We might integrate this with some visual recognition too, but it can identify people in a room who's talking, so they'll be like, hey, hey, Aaron, or hey, bud, as soon as you walk in, based on your voice. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with this. Uh, one of the intelligent technologies, imagine this, you go in your home, you turn the fan on at X time during the day and when the temperature is a certain range. So you've got two variables going on. The system will actually learn over time that, hey, you have that fan on. Um, during those times of the day, and I'll actually turn the fan on for you. And that goes for every system, for every piece of hardware in our system that supports um, what we call feedback. So your lights, your fans, your temperature control, etc., will all be intelligent. And on the top of this, developers, your system, your products will automatically become intelligent once integrated into our system. Nice. So like a really smart 
intelligent and well, intuitive. We're really trying to make a smart home. We're not trying to make another voice recognition house. That's not what this project is. This project is really going for the future cutting edge, what you've seen in movies, all that cool technology that you didn't think was possible, we're bringing to the game. Yep. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, bud. Uh, so, you guys, uh, we just want to give you that quick update. Uh, thanks again to Hackaday, uh, to all our uh, viewers um, and followers. Um, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and, and everything. Um, and also uh, to Joe Britt for his email, uh, the courtesy email. So hopefully we'll see him uh, on Skype for Entrepreneurship, uh, Entrepreneurship Club. So uh, thanks, guys.